So you think you are right? Mm. Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. About five years ago, my mom and I decided to put this contact paper, it's waterproof and it's for countertops, on her countertop because when they bought this double wide, it had purple countertops and purple carpet and it was beautiful back then. But then she just got tired of the purple countertops and they just were a little dated. So we put this paper down. And honestly, I didn't think it would hold up as well as it has. But there were a few places around the sink that needed to be redone. And when we bought this, we bought an extra roll of paper just for that. So I had some time today and she's been asking. So I took this off around the sink and redid it. And I thought I would show you guys how I did it because it's super cheap, it's durable, and it's a great way to freshen up some dated countertops. Get what you want out of there. You miss your purple counters? Yeah. You like them better than the... Yeah. You just like the solid, don't you? Yeah. I can see my medicine stuff on it. And I can't see nothing on this. There's a knife. I don't know. I've got a wallpaper in here somewhere. That should work. I think I used a credit card last time to smooth it down. Yeah, it's very sticky. It's, it's hard to get it. I mean, this has get. been down probably four or five years, and you see how good it's stuck. I mean, it's been good, though. It's been good paper. Yeah, it's good paper. And the edges right here, wouldn't it be easier to go ahead and do your edges first? Yeah, but a lot of times, see how this is one piece? Like if I can get it to go down in one piece, it's it's better. It's better, but there's places you can't. Yeah, there is places you can't. Now this right here, I think I just did the top and then just overlapped it and then put this on top of it. I think that's how I did that. So that was my sweet little dad. He was telling me his thoughts on the paper and the counter. He has macular degeneration, so he can't see well at all. So if he lays his medicine on this granite paper, it kind of blends in. So he likes just the plain darker counter, the purple, because he can see medicine or something like that if he lays it on it. But that was him. I wanted to leave that in there because he's so sweet. But if you're going to do this project, the first thing you're going to need is the paper, of course. But then you need to wash your counters down. Get anything laying on your counters, any debris, any dirt, anything like that up clean those real well. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need a little knife to trim around the sink or around your edges. And then you're going to need something to smooth it down and get the bubbles out. So I think the first time I did this, I used a credit card. But today, as you'll see, I'm using a little putty knife. But that's what you're going to need to begin with. About you, I like. About you, I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down. Maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk So if you're starting new and you have a straight edge that's perfectly straight like a new roll of paper then I always start up against the edge of the wall or your backsplash, the back of your counter. And to begin with, you just line it up in the back and then the trick is just go little by little and smooth it out towards you as you go down since i'm already starting in the middle i just lined it up in the back and i lined it up perfectly to the edge of the paper that's there once you get that pushed down and you know that it's straight i just take a putty knife and then i just go around these edges and smooth everything down as you see and then just make sure your edges, it's perfectly straight, your edges line up, and then just go little by little and smooth it down. And if you have a tiny bubble here and there, that's no big deal. You'll see later that I just poke a hole in that, a tiny little hole, and then it lets the air out and it smooths down and sticks to your counter. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. This 
paper is also very forgiving. If you mess up, you can actually peel the whole thing right back up and start over again. It doesn't rip easily, but it comes off easy and it's so sticky that it will stick back again. So don't get frustrated. I actually edited out me redoing this a couple of times because you just have to get it to where the bubbles, all the wrinkles and stuff like that will come out. But you will get the hang of it and it's super easy once you do. Once you get up against the wall or um, the sink, as you see here, you just cut with a little knife like this right up against it and it will peel right off and leave super clean edges. So the hardest thing about doing hers is that in front of the sink, the counter is kind of rounded. It kind of goes, it's not just a clean square or a clean edge, it rounds off. So you have to cut a little and then piece together to make those turns. If your counters are just perfectly square and everything is just straight, you are going to have such an easy time with this. This right here is the part I'm talking about. It just kind of curves, so it makes it a little more difficult as far as doing angles. But like I said, if your counters are just square, it is so, so easy. So as you see here, if you can see for my hair, sorry, I should have pulled my hair back. But as you see here, the paper, the roll I started with didn't have a clean edge. So I just gave it a little bit of slack in the beginning and then I just pressed up against the corner there. And then I'll go back and cut that, trim that off. So that's no big deal at all. Give yourself some room, but just repeat the process and Pull it towards you little by little, smooth it out with a credit card or a putty knife or just a straight edge. And if you get bubbles, like I said, don't worry, you can work with those in the end. If you mess up, just peel that right back off and start again. It's super, super easy. I wish I could have made it stop. The first time that you stood me up, I wasn't ready. Yeah, never ready. Like a they're going to end up taking this up and either getting a new counter or just getting different paper like a darker solid color paper to where dad can see things on it it was so funny because mom told dad she said um it's up to you if you don't want her to put this back down we don't have to we can leave it you know just the solid counter and uh, dad was like okay yeah i'll just leave it purple and mom was like okay just go ahead and put the paper on it and he was like then why did you ask me anyway but I told dad, I said, I really don't have time to clean all of the counters off and take all of this paper off and clean the purple, like the sticky off the purple. I said, and I'm kind of filming so I can show them how to do it if they want to do theirs. So how about I just put this down and then if you find paper that you like better, then we'll switch it out. And that's the thing about this is you can switch it out and it's not a whole lot of money to do it. It just gives you something different and mom will actually cut like stuff on the counter or dad spills coffee you know there's water all over the place and this paper holds up so good i honestly the first time i put it down i thought 
okay, there's going to be cuts and there's it's going to not stick because the water's going to get under it. No, this stuff is amazing. You've seen in the beginning how hard it was for me to even pull it off. So if you're worried about the bubbles and poking a hole in it, I mean, it's a tiny little pinhole. Um, if you're worried that water will get under that or it'll start peeling up, I promise you it will not. Paper may just fold up under and stick under your counters. It didn't really stick well on mom's so I just went around with this knife and just cleaned up those edges underneath and it cuts so easily so once you start cutting with this like it will slide so easy and make like extremely straight edges and here's the little rounded part I was telling you about earlier and you just kind of have to piece that together and as far as the paper it's not like a pattern that you have to match up so you cannot tell where you start and where you stop so if you need to patch up a little piece or do a little piece you can totally do that and it will not show So here's what the counters look like when they're done and they look so good and you can see the edges around the sink are just so clean here mom is inspecting and finding all the bubbles so as you see you just poke a tiny little hole in it and it smooths straight down does not wrinkle or anything it just lets the air out of it but yeah I think it looks so so good and nobody that comes in the house can tell that that's just paper it blows their mind when we tell them but thanks so much for watching and please like and subscribe. I hope this helps you out and gives you some ideas. So wish me good luck.